Hey everyone, what's up? Eric MN Twins 20 here. Uh, just uh, thought I'd give a quick vlog, uh, number 18. Uh, it's Saturday, 25th, I think, April 25th. Uh, I'm sitting here watching day three of the NFL draft, and what a draft it's been so far, especially for the Vikings. Um, I'm actually quite happy with the way the draft has turned out for the Vikings. We got some really good, solid picks um, in the first round. Um, we took um, Justin Jefferson, the receiver, and we took Jeff. I don't have the names in front of me, so I have to do this by memory. Uh, we took a cornerback out of TCU. Um, both solid draft picks. Um, at first, I was kind of pissed about the, the Jefferson pick because he's a slot receiver, and we already have that in Amtian. But then I, as I was thinking more and more about it, and they showed his highlights, most of the damage he does is yards after catch, and he's quick. He's got good hands, and I thought about it. And it's like you know, I know we need a deep threat, but I thought about it. We have a deep threat, and his name is Adam Thielen. And if you look at some of the Adams' catches in the past of his career, especially this past playoff, they were deep catches. Um, the, the big catch that Thielen had in overtime against the Saints last off uh, last playoff set up the game winner to Rudolph. So, and I, I think Adam had another one uh, a couple seasons ago against the Rams where he just torched their defense and took one to the house, like 60-some plus yards. So Thielen has some deep route abilities. He's good. So, oh, excuse me. I just had a piece of pizza, so. um, So thinking about this draft pick, the first one for Jefferson, I, I, I'm starting to like it now. It's It's a good... It's a good pick. We need we need a receiver, and basically the the pick we used to trade to acquire from Stefan Diggs trade to Buffalo is the one is replacement. Uh, the second pick we had at twenty five, we traded back with San Fran to thirty one, and then we took um, the TCU corner who was pretty good. Uh, the only knock on him is he's, he's five ten, and he's had knee issues. But I guess the thing about him that's impressed. Uh, scouts is his wingspan. He's got a really big wingspan, and that's what the Vikings loved about him. So uh, I'm not too uh, I'm not too disappointed about that. Hopefully the size won't be an issue, and his knee will be okay. I'm watching here. We're in the fourth round. Bills are picking at 120, 128. I have my glasses on. Yeah, Bills are picking right now. We're in the fourth round. Vikings have a couple picks coming up here shortly. Um, but, uh, the Vikings, they picked up a tackle in the second or third round, Ezra Cleveland. Uh, I know the Vikings were in on trade talks with Trent Williams with Washington, and then those just kind of went, pfft. a lot of rumors going around about that. Uh, who do you believe? Washington, Vikings, uh, Williams side. Um, there's a lot of reports saying Williams did not want to play here. Uh, they came out this morning and said that's absolutely not true. Washington's just trying to cause trouble. Well, Washington traded him this morning to San Fran, which I guess they've been talking to each other for the last few days. Uh, San Fran just announced this morning that their longtime tackle, um, Staley, has reti is retiring because of health issues. So they kind of, and they knew that going into the draft. So they've been working with Washington. They finally came to a deal this morning. So no skin out the Vikings knows. They don't have to waste draft picks on a guy that hasn't played in. A couple seasons and hasn't played a full season since I think they said 2013. So, I mean, Trent Williams is a great player, but I think the Vikings were smart to just say, sorry, pass. And a lot of people that are chiming in on the Ezra Cleveland pick are saying it's a good deal. He's got the body of, he's got the work ethic and the work experience like Brian O'Neill does our guard tackle on the right side of the line. They're kind of similar. So that kind of works out. So um, the only problem with this, I don't like with the Williams thing not working out is we're still stuck with Riley Reef. So we're going to probably have to run roll with him for another year, unless they find another lineman here in the draft. We got like nine picks today. So uh, the Vikings traded back. They had a third round pick. They traded that to to New Orleans, so New Orleans can move up, and Vikings gain four picks from that trade. 
basically, the Vikings got the rest of the Saints picks for today, and Saints moved up to our pick in the third round. So we got like twelve picks or something today. It's 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 obscene. But uh, Vikings' first pick was just a little bit ago. They took another. Uh, they took a defensive end. I th- I'm assuming to replace Everson Griffin, who's not coming back. Uh, the other pick the Vikings made yesterday to two was a cornerback. Um, they picked another corner, which is good. Uh, one of the things, one of the players I was hoping we would get, which we did not get, was Antoine Winfield Jr., the Gopher safety. Uh, his dad played with the Vikings. We t- we got him years ago. And I was hoping we'd pick him up because he can play. He's so versatile. He can play safety. He can play a linebacker, nickel, corner. And unfortunately, the the Vikings just did not get him. Uh, He went to Tampa. So at least he didn't go to divisional rival because I was worried about that. The the Bears or the Packers getting him. And thankfully, he didn't. He Well, he technically did go to a divisional rival because we used to be rivals with the Bucks when it was the NFC Central way back in the day. So they're still kind of a rival, but they're not. But. I'd rather you go to Tampa Bay. So he's going to be with Tom Brady and Gronk. He's going to have a chance to uh, become a winner. So congrats to Antoine Winfield Jr. Um, I was really hoping we get him. So I was a little bummed that we didn't get him. But overall, the Vikings draft is going really good. Um, I'm really excited. There's some players left available. I'd like to see them get Tyler Johnson, the gopher receiver. We need another receiver. I think Johnson would be a good fit. Um... A lot of people are saying we should go get Randy Moss's son, uh, Thaddeus, the, the tight end. I don't see that happening. I don't see us getting a tight end because we just don't need one. We have Rudolph. We have Irv Smith. Unless we trade Rudolph away, which I don't see happening. I think they're going to stick with him another year or two. And I think he just signed a contract extension. So unless a team like New England who needs a, a tight end trades for somebody like a Rudolph, then I could see us going after a Moss, but I don't think so. Um, uh, Jake Reed's son, he's a safety, possibly we could see him picked up if the Vikings don't trade and, um, Anthony Harris, which it sounds like the Vikings are not going to, um, cause I know Cleveland was interested in him, but they picked a safety early on in the draft. So I think eventually, uh, Anthony Harris will be. Uh, re-signed. He was franchise tagged, but I think the Vikings are going to work out a deal with him long term, and I think they should because he's still young. He's good. Um, I know they're putting a lot of money into the safeties because you got Harris and you have Harrison Smith, and Harrison Smith is around thirty or he's on the wrong side of thirty, but he's still good. So I could see them maybe drafting next year a safety for Harrison Smith eventual replacement and then sticking with Anthony Harris and maybe ain't move Harris over to where Smith is. I don't know, but uh, I know it's a lot of money in the safety position, but we need all the help we can get, especially with all the losses we've occurred at cornerback with the loss of Waynes, Rhodes, and Mackenzie Alexander and Javon Curse. I mean, Rhodes wasn't much of a factor this year. He sucked, so that's not a very big loss. Waynes is a little bit of a loss, and Mac Alexander, I would don't know why we let him go. I don't know what his issue was, but we should have hung on to him. But uh, we got some decent corners we drafted, and we got we got some corners now. We have Holton Hill. I think he's going to be okay. Mike Hughes. He's coming off a season a year after his knee was torn up, so I think this is the year he's got to prove it. Last year was his return year, so I think. I think Hill, I think Holt Hill and Hughes will be good, but we also have the new guys we drafted. Vikings pick is in for the fourth round, pick 130. I'll report it here in a minute. But the um, the thing I love about this draft is the picks that our rivals have made, particularly the Green Bay Packers. They traded up, oh, here we go, Vikings select round four. 130, James Lynch, defensive tackle, Baylor. Interesting. So there's a DT. 2019 unanimous first team All-American. I'll have to read more about this guy. 2019 Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year. So he must be a, a beefy guy. So that's definitely for depth. We didn't need a tackle because we had we signed the free agent. Or we traded for. I can't remember if it was a free agent or trade. Um the Pierce kid from that played with the Ravens. I think it was free agent. 
But it doesn't hurt to have backups, especially if we're going to stick with that 4-3, because you need another nose tackle in that 4-3. But it, it sounds like the Vikings are going 3-4, or are going to experiment with it. So I guess we'll see. But anyways, back to the Packers. They traded up to pick 26, I believe, in the first round. Everybody's like, oh, they're going to go receiver. They need receivers. They need to give Aaron Rodgers some, some weapons. And what do they do? They did an Aaron Rodgers to Aaron Rodgers. They drafted a fucking quarterback, Jordan Love. Can I just say to Green Bay, what the fuck are you doing? You First, you pissed off one, one Hall of Fame quarterback, Brett Favre, by drafting Aaron Rodgers. Okay, it worked out, but you made him sit for three years behind Rodgers, or behind Favre before he moved on to New York. And now you do it to Aaron Rodgers, who's still a pretty decent quarterback. And I know there's some Packer fans that just trying to justify it. Oh, Aaron Rodgers, he's he's getting on up there and he's getting hurt and all that. Rodgers has been hurt one time in the last few years. And that was the year Aaron, uh, Anthony Barr took his ass out. Back in the day, that was still funny. Sorry, I, I can't. I'm sorry, that's just funny. But, I mean, I don't condone injuring people, but it's still funny. But... But people, but these people are bitching about Aaron Rodgers getting old and all that. It's like, he's still good. And you guys were one game away from the Super Bowl, and you got to draft a quarterback? And the reports are that Rodgers is pissed right now. Why would you? I don't get it. I mean, yeah, you need a backup quarterback, but this is not, this is Jordan Love. He's obviously not going to be the backup quarterback. He's there, definitely the heir apparent. So I think Green Bay totally screwed up on this one. And if there wasn't any issues between Matt LaFleur and the head coach and Aaron Rodgers before, there sure as hell is now. Because they showed the coach on camera as the pick was being made and announced grinning ear to ear and just like yeah i got my guy and all that oh aaron Rodgers sees that and i'm sure he has uh not good so we'll see how this plays out in green bay in the next year or two um and see if uh, a Rodgers wants out and wouldn't it be funny that aaron Rodgers wants to not only stick it to the packers when his contract's up and he gets released or says i'm not re-signing not only stick it to Packers, but wants to stick it to Brett Favre one final time, and says, "You know what? I'm gonna go to Minnesota like like Favre, but I'm gonna do what Favre couldn't do. Wouldn't it be funny if he came here and took the Vikings to the Super Bowl and fucking did the job? And honestly, right now, if he, if Rodgers came on the clock, oh, Vikings moved up 132. Cool, got another pick. Wouldn't it be funny if Aaron Rodgers came here and won the Super Bowl for us? Oh, Packer fans would be so pissed right now." Or when that happens, but I know it's just reckless speculation, as Score North would say. So, and the other big surprise I thought was um, Eagles drafting a quarterback, Jalen Hurts. There's a lot of Eagle fans pissed off about that pick too, but I think that's actually not a bad pick because Carson Wentz, he's a good quarterback, but he's always getting hurt. And they need a backup plan. They traded Nick Foles to Jacksonville, which didn't work out for Jacksonville because Nick Foles got hurt. And now he's in Chicago. Uh, Vikings pick 132, round four. Vikings have selected... Come on, Johnson. Troy Dye. Linebacker, Oregon. Okay. we got. Well, there's our linebackers. Slick Rick always wants to draft. Okay. But I thought about it, and I thought, okay, Jordan Love to... Philly is a good move because they need back. They need a backup in case Carson gets hurt. But at the same time, Carson's always hurt because they need offensive line. They need to protect him better. So I don't know what that is. The deal is on that. But that's just some of the things going on in the draft. I think so far it's gone the way I predi I thought and predicted. The first several picks pretty much went the way I thought it was. Burrow, obviously you knew that he was going to go to Cincinnati. Chase Young went to Washington. Good pick for them. Lions get Okuda. And I thought, you know, when I when I did my mock draft, I mentioned how I think it was stupid for the Lions to trade um, Slay. I didn't realize Slay wanted out. He did not like Patricia. So I apologize. I didn't know that's why he was traded. I just thought the Lions were being dumb, like the Lions always are. But no, it was Slay did not care for Patricia, and that's why they... So... That's my bad. So the Lions picking Akuda was a good move. 
Um, and then pick four was Giants. Andrew Thomas, good pick. They need to protect their quarterback. And then the Dolphins got Tula, which I was not surprised. Tula, I believe, wanted to go there all along. That was good. Herbert went to the Chargers. Good pick pick for them. A lot of people saying Herbert's overrated. I don't I don't I don't agree with that. I think he's gonna be okay. And just the rest of the draft, the way it panned out. It was a boring first round. Dad's cat's getting into my drink here. It's a boring first round. Not many tra uh, not many trade moves until mid first round. But it um but it's gone pretty much the way I anticipated. I like the Vikings draft picks uh so far in the first four rounds now. And uh, I'm in. I'm I'm enjoying the draft, sitting here and watching it. And uh, hopefully, you guys are having a good weekend, staying safe. Uh, I know I haven't uploaded many um, game videos lately. The last few days, I've just been just really burned out and just really into this draft thing. So I've been dealing with that. And uh, I'm getting some. I got I got another episode of MLB the Show twenty coming up. Uh, season four episode f or season two episode four is on the PlayStation. I just gotta transfer it over and get that up and loaded, and uh, hopefully uh, I'll have that up sometime this weekend. So if you like this vlog, hit that like button, leave a comment if you like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you'd like to help out with future content on this channel, uh, please visit my patron. If you would like to donate, you certainly can. You're not obliged to i'm not asking you to you can if you want just to help out i would appreciate it and uh and a, a link will be in the description below patreon.com slash mn twins 28 and uh hopefully you guys have a great rest of the weekend and uh until next time peace out